Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Gebo the Shaman, and today we are looking at rune predictions um, from, from June all the way till December 31st of 2024. So these are, this is something that I really wanted to do because, um, you know, it, it's just really good to look into the future and see what's going on and see what's going to happen. I enjoy doing that from time to time, you know, within my own life, but also for the, uh, for the collective. So this is what we're doing here today with you guys. And, um, yeah. So... Right now, um, I don't have a face cam on me, however, y that's okay because you guys at least get to look at these cards. Um, so that's, that's a, a benefit, so. Alright guys, so, uh, let's go ahead and begin here. And, uh, so the first thing that I like to do when it comes to the runes is essentially just um when i'm when i'm shuffling my deck i like to just breathe in take long deep deep breaths and meditate upon what it is that i'm i'm want to achieve here and so what we're going to do and you can even do this with me, even though this is a pre-recorded thing. Your energy will have an effect on this. Um, is to just, we're going to cut the deck in half. So we have like that. And then, oh, kind of face it all down, downwards. And then we're just going to shuffle once. So we're going to inhale. We're going to ask Odin for his wisdom as we're shuffling. We're going to turn the cards one half turn so that way we, we get uh, an opportunity to have the Merkstave cards in here. Which is, just means upside down cards which have has a different meaning. And then on the second shuffle we're going to ask Vili for his power. When inhale. We ask Billy for his power. And then on the third shuffle, we take the, the top half. Shall, uh, turning it again 180 degrees. And then we're going to inhale, asking asking they for his spirit so we ask they for your spirit and i ask all the gods to empower this reading empower my ability to speak here to my audience and uh, to tell them the truth and to give just a re good reading today. So here we go. I will now put this uh, apart or out of the shot. Our first card. I'm going to flip it over. That will be the the north. Oops. There you go. That will be the north. And we have Yetta in the north. Our second card is Hagalaj in the northeast, that is Merkstave. Or that is actually, that's actually, you see how that is? It's actually going to be the same thing right side up, so even the, though the card is upside down, the, it's still right side up, in, in essence. Our third card in the northeast will be Sawul. Our fourth card will be Thurisage. Let's see here if I can get this. Yep, Thurisage. Okay. 
And then... Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm so good. Oh, I, yeah, I think that's... Yeah, okay, that that's good. Like, I, I thought I was uh, messing things up here for a while, but apparently not. So our fourth card in the south, or our fifth card in the south, will be Pair Throw Upright. Our, our card for the south west is Othala. There we go. And my card for the west is Berchtanaj. Okay. And our card for the northeast is Uruj reversed. And a card for the center is Dagash. Okay. Now, um, so all of these cards are are, are great. Um, so I'll go into a bit of analyzing each one of these to tell you what's going on. So, just give me a second here. Okay, so I'll go I'll go around these just explaining each card and um, each positioning because what you're seeing here is a nine world rune layout. And it is essentially, you know, we have the the nine worlds. We have, uh, if you've ever seen the um, the helm of awe, or the um, you know, we have the Yggdrasil, the basically the nine worlds. So first, in the middle, this rep this represents um, the the Earth. This is the Earth. This is Midgard. This is our current conscious experience. Uh, this is also representative of the conscious mind. So, when we have Dagaj in the center, this is our current conscious experience. This is... Um, Dagaj is all about... Um, all about joy and, and living in the current moment and uh just being really joyful and um yeah it's it's really represents uh represents the day the sunshine soul freedom happiness bliss pure divine soul expression and the divination meaning is fun full expression of emotion and freedom and so uh, this is this is currently what's going on or this is uh actually what will be uh going on from june 1st to december 31st of 2024 so this is wonderful we get to experience our own freedom there, this tells me that there's going to be a lot of freedom, a lot of um, the ability to uh, just be free and experience um, joy and happiness, and a lot of a lot of good things around around the corner. I know that uh, you know, 2024, or actually the past few years have been pretty difficult for people um you know financially and all that stuff but it looks like things are going to improve things are going to um you know uh, this this shows that people are not going to be worried about you know their finances or you know whatnot there it's it's going to be more of a focus on their own personal happiness their own personal freedom and this is also you know freeing us from 
tyranny as well. Freeing, freeing us from, uh, you know, mistreatment, abuse, and things like that. And we, another thing, the Dagaj represents the sun, the sunshine. And one thing that is happening right now to humanity is we are getting these, we're at a, a solar maximum. And the sun, the sun is sending us um, what's called solar waves of love. And in, in previous Previous times where we had solar maximums, um, you know, we had like the, the Carrington event where our electronics went off and it was like an EMP happening. But what's happening right now is uh, it the sun is doing the same or similar things. It's just at a different vibration or different frequency. It's sending us gamma radiation, gamma rays gamma waves and this is it's changing us inside it's changing our dna it is changing you know the the junk dna and all that stuff so so this is a wonderful thing this gives us a lot of hope a lot of freedom a lot of joy bliss happiness things like that so and then i'll move on to um the north here so this is what what is coming to us and this is yetta okay so the north represents pure potential the north is the energies that are coming into manifestation this is the this is the intuitive mind okay the intuitive mind this one was the conscious mind. This one is the intuitive, intuitive mind. So yeah, it's um, the the north is the what is going to come into fruition. So as far as the north goes, uh, or Jero Jero goes, it's um, it's really about relationships. It's about connectedness and and uh you know even the the word year yera year um uh yera also means interaction it means cooperation relationships marriage um this could be a, a committed relationship committed partnership cooperation, interaction, and being a part of a team. Uh, and, um, yeah, I, I think that this, it really rep represents humanity's quest to work together, to help each other out. You know, we're, we're becoming... The world that we are becoming is not about the economy, it's not about having a job, it's humans helping each other out. It's humans, you know, doing things for each other. And, um, so this is wonderful. It's really a, a great opportunity to be, again, what, what Dagaj represented was having the ability to share emotions, the ability to share with each other in our happiness, in our joy, even in our sorrow. Um, so this is what's coming for humanity, is this ability to have connection and relationship and, you know, our, the, the whole thing about Yera is... It is connection, it's relationship, but it's also from the heart. It's not, it's not, oh, what, what can you do for me? No, it's um, a love and respect for humanity just because they're your brothers and sisters. You know, so this is what we're headed to. This uh, interconnectedness, this relationship with each other. 
and you know the, the world is going to change you know this is what i this is a big thing that i'm getting from this reading it's going to change and uh there's going to be so much connection and loving connection and uh friendships and um just communities coming together to support each other that that's what i'm getting from this and that's that's wonderful all right so let's go on to the northeast hold on here so the northeast is this card right here hugelage and Hagalaj is about healing. Now, before I go into Hagalaj, um, we need to know what the what the Northeast represents. The Northeast is our inspiration, is our aspiration, our hope, the super conscious mind, and what is happening again this is a wonderful um thing that's happening so what is happening is our our superconscious mind our aspirations and inspira inspirations our hope is for healing it's for to come together and ground ourselves in this new world it, it, in our in this new way of life in this new way of living and um you know it's it's wonderful it's um you know it's it's healing it's grounding it's all that stuff so let's see here let me give me a second and i will talk more about Hagalage. So, Hagalage. Yes, I have it here. So, Hagalage means, um, it means Hole. It, it's, it's, it's related to Hole, which is the Norse god, Norse goddess. Like, um, like every time it would uh snow or hail uh the norse people would say to the ch to their children oh look mother hole is shaking out her bed her bed sheets so Mo so hole is this energy that is going from the heavens it's coming from the heavens down to the earth it is this waterfall this cleansing healing um, it's, uh, very cleansing, very healing. It, um, it has to do with, um, health and whole, being holistic and self-assessment. And cleansing, purifying. So, this really, our, you know, this is our, our aspiration. This, this is the aspiration of the collective, is to heal is to heal from, you know, who knows, our, our traumas, our wounds, our uh, self-devaluation, our um, just different things like that, you know? Um, you know, so, and this also means, um, you know, self-assessment, like, uh, what do we need to do to um to improve ourselves and another thing is this represents is evolution our evolution and uh you know and challenges and as well as changes um and so the common theme here is as we as we continue to have these so the solar maximum with this with the sun radiating radiating out 
this uh, this positive loving energy the more that we will begin to to heal and as well as evolve so this is this is the hope that that we heal that we evolve and again this is coming to us you know so yeah and then to to get into the um to the the meaning of of um another basically another word that is associated with the northeast here with hagalaj is um is conception you know, we this is what we are this is what we are building this is what we are um essentially you know just just uh making and in incubating is this healing uh so this is wonderful all right so next we'll move on to the east here and this is sawul and sawul is it basically means the sun and another another word that's associated with the east here is birth and uh birthing like this is what we are conceiving this is what we are uh both intending but also what is being manifest here um so the east is associated with our identity the east is how we are giving to ourselves so and and you can see it with i uh, i mean uh with the the center here with dagaj dagaj is is the brightness the light of the soul the bright the light of the sun and soul is the sun is the soul so this is how we are giving to ourselves we are uh, intending that the sun help us connect with our soul and and the the more that we the more that the sun sends its rays of light sends our that gamma radiation sends those bursts of coronal acid coronal mass ejections the more that we evolve the more that we are uh taken up to to a to a higher frequency the more that we are being being changed as people so you know this is this is soul this is you know so so empowering it's very empowering and um our our identity becomes our soul you see our our humanness our self devaluation our limitations our um you know human human programming is, is becoming dissolved and the more that we operate from our soul the the sun our you know our true identity our true self this is our, our this is what this represents is our true identity is our soul and um so the more that we operate from that the more that you know we we continue to evolve and grow so i'll be right back guys hold on okay i'm back so looking at the the meaning of soul soul um it says it's related to the soul to the sun and the definition meaning is soul mates soul connection spiritual connection passion and something that is feeding your soul so with yetta and with soul and these first four cards that i 
have dealt, I really feel like maybe 2024 is the year that people find their their significant other, their, their soulmate, you know, their, um, and so the, they're basically their partner, so, um, as well as this, you know, we're, we're basically feeding our soul, or that's, you know, we're, that's what this is showing us, that we are, doing things that are feeding our soul and that's how we're giving to ourselves that's that's our identity and that's that's beautiful that's exactly what we need to be doing in this life is just that you know so this also signifies a big transformation because most people um are stuck in their devaluation and limitation and things like that so um this shows that we're ha it's having a big shift like whatever is going on with the sun is having a huge impact on how people are both relating to ch to each other on the, the the joy in people's lives and people's healing and things like that so this shows that even if it hasn't happened yet by the end of by the end of 2024 we're going to see a massive shift massive massive rev revelations massive um you know human evolution things like that so um i'm really excited for for what's to come just based on this stuff okay now, um, let's go back, let's go down to the southwest, or, so, sorry, southeast. So this is called, I know it's upside down for you guys, but this is called Thurisaj. And this is the thorn. This represents Thor. Okay, so this is, um, you know, it's about, um, about boundaries and about uh you know protecting your energy and things like that so before we go into that however um let's go into what does the southeast mean so the southeast right here is about it's about what you're manifesting in your subconscious mind so these are the things that we are manifesting in our subconscious mind. This is, um, you know, what is, um, what is growing larger, what is happening. So, um, and this is a, a bit of a warning for us too. So let's talk about what's, what Thurisaj means. So Thurisaj is about boundaries, it's about Thor, it is, um, you know, very much the, it, it's, it's about boundaries, it's about defense, it's about aura protection, it's about forming your identity. It's related to the god Thor, as I said. Um, it's about, uh, you know, the... You know, but since, since this is reverse, I mean, it, it's supposed to be, you know... Normally, if it were, like... If it were like that, that would be a good thing. That means that we're enforcing our boundaries and protecting ourselves. Um, but this is a warning that we are manifesting something that could violate our boundaries. It, it's basically meaning difficulty, um, you know, with, with boundaries. Um, in a personal relationship, it could mean infidelity or poor boundaries, 
being unsafe. So this, there's this warning that we are, we are still, there's still a part of us that is manifesting not, not the best things for ourselves. So, this is our, this is once again our unconscious mind. Um, and our unconscious feels unsafe. You know, um, this could also re relate to the, the changes that are happening up here. Um, the unconscious, you know, nobody wants to, to lose their life. Nobody wants to how you know have to you know sacrifice or uh lose anything so i think this is a fear that the unconscious has about about these changes and you know there's some uncertainty there's some unsafety there um but also lack of boundaries um and so, or, like, lack of defense. So, even though we are having these profound changes, these profound, you know, evolutions, you know, these, this these good things that are happening, the, the dark forces, the, um, bad people in our world will take advantage if we don't enforce our boundaries. And so this is what this is warning of. This is what this is warning of us of, you know, this lack of boundaries that, that can be very, very dangerous for us. And so, as we are continuing to grow, continuing to evolve, this means that we still have to protect ourselves. We still have to have boundaries, and I mean, this goes even on the personal level. We can ex we can expect to to see some major spiritual awakenings. However. That doesn't mean that you share your most, like, intimate details with people who, um, could use that against you. You know, having boundaries, having, uh, a sense of loving yourself by protecting your boundaries and defending yourself and, you know, a lot of people, you know, who go who get into this spirituality, um, can or just have a habit of letting their boundaries slip and not not protecting themselves, not defending themselves. Um, it's like they, you know. Some people believe you could, you should turn the other cheek, or you know, um, just just do nothing when evil people attack you, which is not good. You know, that's that's not good. That's not okay. And so this is a reminder that we have to keep our boundaries. So, all right. So what's next? So we have the south here, and we have Perthro in the south, and the south essentially means action. Uh, the south is action, what you are doing, and this is your energy body. This is your your energy body, this is your, uh, 
you know, your aura. This is your, like, energy field. Um, so, the south is, you know, the south relates to Mars. The, the south relates to, um, you know, fire. It's, it's a lot of fire. It's a lot of action. And here we have Perthro. So, and we have Perthro upright. So, if Perthro was reversed, that would mean an ending. If, but, it, but since Perthro is upright, that means that we have what's called a, a beginning, a new beginning. Um, a new, uh, essentially, Perthro relates to the, it, it means a lot cup. So if you, so if you turn this like this, that is a lot cup. Okay. So this means, this ties into... Orlog. This ties into Orlog. This ties into um, our destiny, our dharma, um, the the situation that we were born into. Um, or our inborn destiny, as well. So, Perthro. The divination meaning is essentially following our dharma, following our destiny, following our divine path. So that's good. We are following our our divine path. What we are supposed to do. This is this also means that whatever is happening with the with the the sun, with the you know this healing process with this um, being, you know, the, the changes that are coming along with these solar maximums. This means that this is part of our destiny. This is part of our dharma. And it's, it's like we're, we're entering a new beginning, a new world, essentially. So and we are essentially, you know, we're following that. We're, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. We are, even though there's like, you know, some hesitation about it, there's some uh, uneasiness or fear about it, it's like, Something big is about to happen, and we are um, all going to experience this new beginning, this new earth, this new change. So, alright, so, that's the south. And now let's go to the south, southwest. So this is Othala. Now, Othala means, essentially means home, uh, inheritance, ancestral home, divine inheritance. Now, let's go into the south, southwest meaning. So, what does the, the southwest mean? This position is what you're not aware of. It's the unconscious unconscious mind or sorry when I said the um Thurisage in the in the south east that's the subconscious mind and this Othala in the south in the southwest is the unconscious mind. So we have subconscious and unconscious. So the southwest is what we're not aware of. And 
so this also pertains to the unconscious mind. The Southwest is um, our awareness, what we need to become aware of and what we're not aware of yet. So, and Othala is essentially we are going to leave our our current home our our earth mother earth we're going to leave her and we are going to have a new home um and so this ties into up here where we have Hagalaj and that is you know that's feeling grounded this is also feeling grounded but also in the new home so this represents a new home feeling grounded feeling safe feeling at home and Othala is our inherit inheritance our divine inheritance our ancestral home now with all these changes that i've been telling you guys about you know it, it's really coming to fruition like this is what's going on so we are we're not aware of it but this is what's happening we are going to our new home you know this is so, you know, even though we have, even though, like, most people are not going to expect this, most people are not going to be even aware of the, the changes, the, you know, the new, um, sorry guys, I'm trying to adjust this, just a sec. Um, most people are not going to be aware of the changes, of the, the shift that is going to happen. So, essentially, this tells me that by the end of the year, by the end of 2024, we have sealed our fate. Right here. We have sealed our fate, and we are going to our new home. We are going to 5D. We are going to... Uh, this new place and uh, what I've learned is that not everyone is going there are some people who have not yet evolved to the level of of you know that that they want to choose to go so and it is your choice if you'd like to go with me and uh, the people that I know who are going. All you have to do is choose. And all you have to do is raise your frequency. Okay? So, um, I know this may, sh may be shocking. I know this may be, uh, you know, startling. And I, I know you might, might not even believe it. And that's okay. But... The truth is, by the end of the year, we are we are going to find our new home, and that means you know leaving Earth. This is what I've been talking about this whole time. Um. All right. So that's that's the Southwest. Now the the West is. Basically, Berchtanaj. Um, so the West is how you give to others. This is how you give to others, and this is the empathic mind. So the West is our is always our our relationships with others, and the East is the our relationships with ourselves. So, um, Berchtanaj. Um, the West also represents wisdom. 
It always it represents wisdom. So let me find Berchtanaj here. Berchtanaj is also known as birth. The birch tree. It represents a spiritual rebirth. A cleansing process. A purifying. Um, Berchta is bright. It's explosive. It's the power of dawn. And the divination meaning is essentially a birth, a new beginning. And so, uh, this is um, really something. It's it's really beautiful. So, something that I will recommend that you all do is this is how we can give to others and per and bring others to our new home and create our new home in the in the 5d in the higher dimension is the way that we do that the way that we give to others is by meditating and we go into the interdimensional meditations and if you want to do this you can go to thunderwizard.com please go to his channel he is the foremost expert on interdimensional meditations. And just just do those meditations that he has on the on that channel. Um, he does me live meditations every Saturday and every Wednesday on his channel. And those videos are always going to be up there. Um, now, so there, there's, there's your action. There's what you can do. So Berchtanaj is how we are giving to others. We are providing a new beginning to others by doing that spiritual work on ourselves. Remember, Sawulf, this is how we were giving to ourselves. We're following our soul. By following our soul, we we do uh we are creating this new 5D home for ourselves and it's conversely giving to others. And so this is the, the life that we will be living, is this empowerment of ourselves also helps others, also empowers others. And each time we do this certain kind of interdimensional meditation, we empower others. We... we we are essentially creating the home, the, the new home for others. And, you know, each time that, like, well, one thing that's, that's key, I'll just say this now, is when you're doing this meditation, you come out of your, you imagine your energy coming out of your heart center, and you see it lift, you know, rising through the atmosphere, through the sky, you know, out of your home, through this, through the roof, and all the way up through the sky, through the atmosphere, and into the space, into space, basically. And then you go to the sun, you travel to the sun, you ask the sun for permission to enter her, uh, the center of the sun. And then you fill yourself with the sun's energy and then you blast it out of your heart center or the third eye, either one. You blast that energy to the earth and this is what is creating these solar storms, these coronal mass ejections, these, uh, this, these bursts of, um, you know, of, of, solar waves of love of these this gamma radiation and so one of the things that the higher dimensional beings told my teacher is 
well, we're not doing it. it it's not our energy that that is having a, an effect here. Uh, they're not, you know, they're not doing it. It's us that do it. It's us that change things. Because they don't want their will interfering with what we want or what, what our desire is, you know. So it's the cosmic law of choice. Do you want to go into the 5D or do you not? So if you do this meditation, you're pretty much guaranteeing yourself that you will rise to the 5D. Alright guys, so let's see here. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. So we'll talk about what's in the Northwest. And the Northwest is essentially so the Northwest is what the ancestors are teaching you. Um, so this is what the ancestors are teaching you. This is our higher higher consciousness. This is our wis our wisdom, our you know guidance from the ancestors, from the higher beings, uh, light beings, the elves, and they are trying to convey enlightenment to us. They are trying to enlighten us, give us guidance and wisdom and all that stuff. So, the wisdom and the guidance from the, uh, the elves, the ancestors, is essentially um, that we may be having some ill health, we may be having some lack of direction, some confusion, some lack of determination, some lack of, you know, sexual connection or libido. And so the advice there is Uruj represents power, it represents strength, it represents courage represents bravery, represents masculine energy, vitality, testosterone, health, and, uh, you know, being determined, being headstrong, being, uh, you know, having a strong sexuality. So the advice there is this, um, This warning of that we may have some some ill health, some lack of direction, some lack of determination, lack of uh, yeah. So lack of direction, lack of determination. This is a signal that it it's time. You know, we don't have much time. We don't have much time to lose. We don't have, you know, this is the last call. You know, the bus is, the bus is leaving the station. The train is leaving the station. So if you don't, if you don't make this a priority to, to, to tap in spiritually, then you're going to be left behind, essentially, is what they're saying. You need the passion, you need the courage, you need the stamina, the, the, the will, the strength to, to, to do these practices, to connect spiritually, connect with your soul, otherwise you're going to be left behind. And, you know, so... What I've, what I've learned so far is that there's going to be three Earths. There's going to be a 
a version of Earth in which the the rich people, the mega wealthy, the billionaires and trillionaires, uh, you know, they they get to to decide what's going on with you. The Earth's population will be reduced, and um, it'll be basically living in a dystopia. Um, the next version of Earth is essentially a slightly improved version of the 3D Earth that we currently experience. And, you know, that's, that includes, you know, there's going to be more freedom, there's going to be more ability to, you know, do what you want because the we won't have the the elites they'll be in a separate world so it will be this like bit of um enlightenment a renaissance period you know this uh expansion of human growth you know it's human technology human um all that stuff so that that's what's going to happen with that second version of earth the the next version of Earth will be what we refer to as 5D. So it will be essentially, um, it'll be like, you know, um, the, there's going to be a lot of connection with the light beings, with the ancestors, with the, um, what do you call it, the elves, with the, you know, higher dimensional beings, deities, there's going to be a lot more connection with, with those, as well as, you know, uh, the, the Runjeta. You know, people will be having relationships in which they, they communicate openly. There's going to be no negativity. There's no, going to be no hostility, no um, hate, no meanness. None of that stuff will exist there at all. It's going to be self-empowered humans and self-empowered light beings being together and and working to help each other and empower each other and uh you know we'll have things like you know whatever we'll <laughs> you know we'll, the great thing about this is that the whole veil of manifestation you know will be relieved so like for example to manifest things here on Earth, we have to work really hard at it. We have to stay persistent. We have to, you know, go after something full force and just really work hard at it. That is our human manifestation right now. However, in this new 5D world, people will be able to manifest whatever they want. If they want uh, you know, unicorns that poop skittles. Okay, great. They can do that. You know, if they ha if they want, you know, plants that, uh, you know, are are edible and taste like candy and nourish you. If they want, like, uh, you know, rainbows that that drop candy or, <laughs> you know, whatever. It's like if they want, uh, you know. Uh, pigs that fly or or rainbows or or um you know whatever whatever uh climate or whatever they want whatever kind of area they want to live in you know whatever activities they want to do if they want to scuba dive underwater without a tank and just be able to inhale water that's a, that's going to happen <laughs> So, you know, as well as this, this, 
connection with with the divine you know we we have this this veil over us as humans that you know there there's this uh separateness this this disconnectedness and that will always uh, that that will all be removed so um and there's of course people who won't believe any of this you know they'll have skepticism they'll have doubt and that's okay and the great thing about this is when this shift happens people from the you know I'll, I'll call it the the lower earth will be able to come up to the higher earth if they decide to to uh increase their frequency to change their frequency to pray and to ask for help to to pray and to ask for you know guidance and things like that like your relatives will be able to come to you um and to help give you some some guidance and put energy into you and you know people who the people who who do that in the lower dimensions will become like you know super powerful spiritual beings in that dimension and you know they'll pretty much look like they're disappearing when they rise to this uh to either the you know slightly improved 3d earth or the 5d earth so all right guys so um yeah that's that's pretty much it for me um you know i'm I think I said out said everything that I needed to say. So with that, I will go ahead and end it there. So you guys have a great day and we will speak to you later. So this uh and this remember this reading was from June to the end of 2024. So June 1st of 2024 to December 31st of 2024. So good stuff, guys. So, um, other than that, we will see you later. So, take care. Bye bye.